In addition to credit card processing, merchants have the ability to run check transactions through their gateway account if they have a check processor enabled. Once they do, they'll see a new option on the home screen as well as the main menu. And if we go into there, you can see the transaction types allowed. There are sales, voids, refunds, and if you turn them on for a merchant, credits. And so these are exactly the same things that credit cards can do. So let's run into a sale first. Now what you're gonna see is a page that looks basically exactly like the credit card page, and that's because the flow is exactly the same. And so the only difference here is over here, Near the top, you can see electronic check information and you need to ask for, instead of credit card information, check information. And so the required fields at minimum for every transaction will be the name on the account, the routing number, the account number, and the amount. So we'll autofill the account holder type as personal and the account type as checking. You can change that to business and savings account, uh, but personal checking tends to be what merchants use most often. So that's what the defaults are. And then there's also an SEC code. And so this is gonna be which code is used for the transaction. Now for most merchants, they'll see one here and that's just what they'll use. Uh, but for an account like this, this is a test account and we show basically all of them <laughs> in this case, you can pick and choose which one you want. Uh, so let's just choose CCD for this one. This is a corporate transaction. So let me go ahead and fill out the form real quick. Okay, there we go. And I can enter more information if I'd like. I can enter their billing info, shipping address. Uh, I, I'm not gonna do that for this transaction. We're just gonna do kind of the minimum here. And then I'm gonna scroll down. You can see products, just like credit cards, order information, all that's still here. And we're going to submit. So the transaction was approved. Here's the receipt. You can print it, you can email it, you can add this customer to the vault. Uh, create an order template based on the order or create a recurring subscription based on this customer's info. So all the things that you're used to from credit cards. Now, if I go to my home screen again, I'm gonna see that transaction right here. I'm gonna click into it and I can see all the details here. It's Jane Doe, here's the routing number and here's the masked account number. And so all the information is here, just like a credit card transaction, you can see that. And then you can also void and refund the transaction. So if I decide I actually don't want this transaction to go through, they're gonna pay a different way, they change their mind, whatever. I can just hit void and then it'll void the transaction. I'm gonna go back actually, and we're gonna do a refund. And so the refund again is very similar to what you're used to if you've seen a credit card transaction in the system. Uh, you just give us the transaction ID. You can do a partial amount or the full amount, run a refund, and there we go. If we go back to our transaction reports, show today's transactions, we'll have a check refund as the most recent transaction and a check sale as the one before that.